Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Check it, man. It's a unique call. So it's your boy, ECEO, man. I'm checking in with the recap for this week, man. This week's recap consists of uh, Landa and Rotunda Morgan, which is what friends of uh, of the show. Um, these guys came through, man, spiritually inclined. We started the week off with them. Uh, Sunday, we did part one. Um, these guys was just great energy. I loved interviewing those guys. Uh, me and Miss Jamaica, the official Miss Jamaica, we interviewed those guys. What I love about Erica is the fact that a lot of people here in Dallas have stories about yeah, they her. Got not people who live in LA right, and everywhere right. else because you have some people who live in a city and they don't mess with nobody in that city. They mess with everybody else in other cities. Right. So, but here she represents let me, let me Dallas out. to the full. Let, let me shout out Mr. Lander. Is it Lander? Yes, let me it Lander. Right. Yeah. Lander. Let me shout out Mr. Lander. A-I-N-G. Uh, <laughs> Doug at Artistic Visual Studios. Uh, uh, what's that Space other boy? boy? That Space boy who on tour with her right now. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. tired of this man right. we're gonna have to get her in here right but right. I, let, let's, let's hear her. i want to hear this this is something i'm gonna tune my ear in just real it's <laughs> funny because my you know we all went to the performing arts school uh, okay booker t and so my sister actually went to school with her I, I i came years later and right around like 97 when she dropped um here in dallas and she dropped her first album uh Baduism, i was a just up and coming musician i was really kind of just learning how to play and she was doing just you know little gigs and stuff around town promoting the album and everything. And I didn't, you know, I really didn't know who she was. You know, I, I knew her name was was buzzing and, you know, everything like that. So she did a gig here in Dallas and I just kind of sat in and, 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 and winged it, you know. And so those mm -hmm. opportunities have come, you know, because if you're a musician in Dallas, you've, you've played for one of the two, either Kirk or Erica. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I've 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 been blessed to, you know, to to, to sit in with those guys and sit in with those bands and just, you know, absorb what it is, you know, the energy that they bring and phenomenal talents. And I mean, we're talking who has more energy. You can't quantify that. You can't. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You can't I quantify wouldn't, that. Hey, hey, I wouldn't say because, it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah I'll shut that down. Yeah, I'll shut that down. I have a lot of energy. I'll shut that down, man. Yeah. Yeah. Lambda, don't answer that. And, I mean, we prayed together. We really, we went into different things that go on with the musical world, being that uh, Landa is uh, one of the uh, guys that have been, uh, he's worked with Erica Badu. He's worked with um, Kirk Franklin. So when you look at uh, what he's brought to the to the music world in the Dallas, Dallas, Texas area. It just was so uh, enlightening to to work with him and be refreshed by the memories of the things that he encountered growing up as a musician in the Dallas area. Um, his wife, I mean, I knew her from back home. We're from uh, humble beginnings together, same hometown, so it was great to uh, jive with uh, good people, good energy, been married, uh, been going the distance when it come down to relationship goals, and I just enjoyed the whole thing of dealing with them. Um, when you think about um, just uh, what God is all about, man, those guys was refreshing, and I thank those guys for coming on the show. Uh, next, we had Melvin Farmer again. We still was dealing with episodes from Melvin Farmer. Melvin Farmer started the Crips officially, and, uh, you know, with Tukey Williams on the west side of L.A., uh, and just dope interview, dope energy. I have to ask you this question. I go back to Charleston, because he said something that was dear to me. He said that the gang members would shoot up the kid, shoot up the houses, and 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 then the kid, a, a woman or a child would may get hit, and then that the gangs would pretty much hide the guy that did this, and basically pretty much uh, try to keep him from having to deal with uh, being, uh, uh, pr you know, pretty much protect him from being being <clears throat> arrested or whatever else he would have to go through because of it. Is this something that? Was a practice or is that just talk? Now, I'm just, that's allegedly. Now, uh, what I can say on that is, once again, you got 60, 50 years of this. So people, uh, like for instance, you hear about people tell stories about Crips killing Crips. Yeah. But when I tell a story, you won't hear that. So I'm predating that. So what is acceptable now <laughs> they brag about their era. That's their era. But that's not a reflection of how this started. Oh, it started. Mm -hmm. So they need to hear this about how it was 
to where regardless of what it was, it was honorable. And it stayed within those. It wasn't no drive-bys, uh, shooting up with no Uzis. We damn near using bow and arrows. Um, I love the fact that he goes back into the community again and just, I love I love what, uh, the way he gave us that interview and, and, and the way we tapped into what was going on in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s when it came down to the Crip culture. Um, just a dope interview, man, all together. Um, when you uh, just think about what he brings to the table, he's been in the inner city doing the things that a lot of us talk about, uh, but don't do nothing uh, for those inner communities, and he's one of those guys. So shout out to Melvin Farmer. Um, next, we got OG Bobby Billions, man. So OG Bobby Billions came through, man. He gave us a cleanup job on the fact that he says that Rainwater didn't get him his deal. Rainwater says, no, I did get your deal. So, you know, I took you to Empire, got you the deal. I helped you to understand that whole thing. It Honest did, with you, it did. Um, you know, Rain came on the show, and when Rain came on the show, he told me something that, that I, and this was right before the text, and he was like, I took Bobby to get his deal. And when I took him to get his deal, he said, now wait a minute, let me finish. I he hear. said, when I, when I took him to, to get his deal, I took him and then after that, you know, I introduced him to the right people like I, I, this Ghazi and all of the Empire family or whatever. Yeah. And then it's like, uh, and then after that, we didn't do it right then, but he went back and, and got, I'm like, oh, you got an email? Oh, you done already, you done signed oh, with yeah, them? Nah. You would sign Oak Cliff Artist, I, I know. I Bobby go get signed. You did? Yeah, I don't really need sign right now. And I then, thought you said that you well. Oh, after, after he's you after, met him after after Mo three passed away. Yeah, so after after he met, passed away, I took him to go get signed. Then he ran back over there. Wow, I didn't know you went with him to get the deal, man. Yeah, I took him to go get the deal. Matter of fact, I introduced him to the people, and I told him I just want five percent of it. And then something happened when I called the dude on three way. He said, "Did you get the email, Bobby?" So I said, "I was like, oh, you signed with them? You went on sign?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Even when I, then the, the week after that, I kind of say, Dan, you got a song with Freddie? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> after you get him signed, uh -huh. he go and he switch sides on, he switch it up on you. Yeah, and these people, and these people love Mo3 at this label. Wow. You know, Did you get your 5%? Uh-uh, I ain't heard nothing back from him. Uh, that's cap. Okay, okay, well, it, it, explain to me. <laughs> why, that don't even fit, that's no cap. way. Yeah, none of that. That's cap. So, did, okay, so never, how did you go yeah. get your deal? So, look, he's never took me to to them at all. The way I uh the way I got the way I got in in cahoots with uh with Empire was cuz that's who we doing the deal with for outside. OG Bobby Billions just kind of say that label mate, label mates, but then when you look at it him and OG Bobby Billions, they get into it about a couple of different things. Ultimately, the ultimate goal is to conversate so we can bridge the gap. Um, there are so many more episodes. Um, Rainwater, Dope Manager, um, o OG Bobby Billions, the outside song would not have happened if he hadn't have made it himself. It would not have scaled like it did if Rainwater hadn't uh, pretty much work with Mo3 to get Mo3 on the track. There's so much in that that it's crazy, man. But man, those two guys are just back and forth. To top it all off, Say Cheese, you know, he dropped his interview. I got my interview. Some people are alluding to the fact that like OG Bobby Billions might have said different things on both interviews. So you have to go check that out. Check out Say Cheese, man. Dope platform. Love the way he puts out the information he OG in the game he, he been doing this uh, a lot of people uh, took from him he came and blessed our platform and he just been in the game a lot longer than us got a lot of love and respect for his whole platform shout out to that boy say cheese but at any rate man them guys are doing their thing man back and forth and hopefully they can come to a resolution something to say hey man and I, and I did ask both of them could they ever work together again that's our main goal to say hey man can you guys ever come together and work together again uh, both of them feel a certain way. Rain feel a way because OG by Billions went and dealt with his op, which was Trap Boy Freddy, and did a song with him that he said was meddling his homeboy at death. Um, OG by Billions said, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. And this is how, you know, things are playing out. Both of them, OG Bobby Billion and Rainwater, dope dudes, man. Uh, 
the city, where, where the music, music winning that we never got it if it wasn't for them coming together. You guys got to realize that uh, we got this council culture where everybody want to counsel everybody without even a conversation. Uh, people listen to what people say. They look at their actions on the video and they feel like they know them. So, hey, man, uh, just hope that everybody can figure it out, you know, that these platforms, these are just informative information on entertainers. So, hey, man, enjoy both of them. Love the movement of the music in the Dallas area, man. Uh, we also interviewed my boy, B. Hemp. B. Hemp came through, talked about being a father of five daughters, a, a, a father, a single parent, I believe, at the time, but just a dope dude, dope interview. You gotta go check out that B. Hemp. He did the do to Ricky Bobby snap, pose for the frame or something like that, you know. Do the Ricky Bobby. That Ricky Bobby thing was popping back in the days. That was a boogie movement. So I wanted to get him on the platform just to say, hey, man, you know, we love what you was doing with the, with the music. Go back to when you first started uh, Do the Ricky Bobby mm -hmm. and you wrote that song, right? Mm -hmm. And you had a producer that you used. Mm -hmm. And so when you wrote it, what, you already had wrote songs before? I was in a group. That okay. was my first solo song I ever did by myself. Okay, you okay. Know? So, you know, everybody... When you're young, you rapping with your partners and stuff like that. That's what I did. And that, I had said, I said the hook to Ricky Bobby in my verse. And everybody was like, damn, what's the Ricky Bobby? I'm like, shit, I don't know. Like, Do <laughs> the Ricky Bobby. It was just one move at first. And I only came up with it, I only said it because I had just watched, just watched Talladega Nights. And it was the first movie that made me like laugh out loud. Like, yeah. Literally, I was, I'm a person, I laughed to myself. Like, yeah. Oh, you know, that, yeah. That yeah, 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 yeah. But that was a movie, so I was laughing. Like, yeah. Man, that shit funny. Like, it's stupid. It's stupid funny. So I just said it in the verse. Do the Ricky Bobby stop. Pose for the frame. And I dip, and we all do the same thing. So I love the fact that that boy came through and uh, blessed our platform. And he can always come back through here, man. His energy is right. He's not looking for no problems. He's a big dude, too. He could be out here looking for a problem, nigga. But he ain't doing that. So shout out to b -Hamp. I talked to him the other day, man. Just a dope dude. Uh, keep doing your thing, man. We're we looking for some more music, though. We got to have some more music, man. Um, who else? Uh, Charleston White came back through here this week. Charleston White came back through. Adam 22, no jumper. Uh, they come out of nowhere and just pretty much because they affiliated with that Crip Mac dude, totally just let him get dissed on, on his platform by these dudes who, you know, they're from West Coast. We actually from Texas. Uh, one of the dudes, uh, cell phone, whatever his name is, no phone or phone answer. Uh, he said something about, you know, uh, he don't know who Charleston White is, which he might not. But then the AD dude said that he'd get him set up. And so let's get back to this no jumper. I want to ask you about this guy because I just want, I wanted to bring awareness to the clothing. But I, I wanted to ask about this. This is the only thing I got to ask, really. Um, I seen that. Um, do you know that guy? Uh, the Adam, Adam guy? A Adam 22. No, I, I, I never just, met him. I just heard about him this year. Yeah, um, I've been seeing him for, I, I seen his stuff because I, I watch, you know, I just strolling through the internet and I seen him, but I really never paid much attention to him. Me either. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm new to the, uh, I'm like a kid that's been playing in the front yard. Mm -hmm. I've been on Facebook for the last five, six years, right? I'm the Facebook, I'm a Facebook nigga, you know, my local crowd. So I don't know, I don't know, I didn't know anything about YouTubers. I ain't know anything. I just really got hip to Instagram last year, right? Uh, so I ain't know nothing about none of these people. Okay. Uh, he sent me, he sent me an invitation to be on, on, on No Jumper probably around April, May, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And uh, so then that's when I took notice of him. Okay, what would make him bring you? I know, I know that Crip Mac guy uh, had been messing. With, they they linked up up there. That's yeah. a West Coast thing. What would make them bring your name up in their show like that? Oh, uh, well, he he invited me to. You know, back then it was me and Bosco. Okay, getting into it. You know, uh, it was me and Bosco getting into it. So it would have been great for his number. Well, why you didn't? Why didn't you go? Uh, my my spirit wasn't right. Uh, my you know uh my my spirit, but. Didn't move right. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I didn't know nothing about him. 
Okay. So yeah, yeah, I ain't just jumping to be on. Yeah. And yeah. no matter who yeah. it is, you you have yeah. to walk. And, and how I you were, are. and I were of Vlad TV is the white boy. Yeah. He Correct. Yeah, yeah. Correct. And no I, he boy. came behind him, so I do know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, ain't no white boy in the social media world better than Vlad. Vlad TV. TV. You are right. <laughs> to the niggas. <laughs> no, you yeah, right. Yeah, to you the niggas. Right. So and so Charles the White wanted to come through Boss Talk and just let it be known that uh, you know, this is what happened and um, this is how I feel about it. And y'all got to check that out. We just dropped the first episode. Uh, Friday and then Charleston White brought up brought some most stuff through here too some merch and all kind of stuff that video is gonna get better and better so you got better stay tuned but Charleston came through man as usual show love to the platform he's been uh, pretty much team boss talk 101 ever since we met and we just kind of locked in and uh, a lot of people some people don't like him some people like him I think he's a, a person like everybody else that gives great interviews I probably I've never got more uh, used with any other individual on Boss Talk 101 than Charleston White. So, and, and and he's coming from a place where it's real to him, what he feels, and so, I mean, everybody get their chance to speak, guys. So, I mean, there's no there's no right or wrong when it comes to interviewing. You interview the people, uh, and the people pretty much to give you the interviews that, that tell their story, how can you be mad at that? But definitely, man, uh, a lot of people definitely feel a certain type of way about him, but Dope interviews. Uh, guys, I hope you're enjoying these recaps. I just try to do something to get you guys to understand what's been going on all week. We drop every day. About to start dropping on the weekends. If you notice, we dropped uh, OG Bobby Billions this morning. Uh, it was a Saturday morning. You'll see this one probably this evening or in the morning for the recap. So uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff coming out. We're going to continue to bless you guys with what we see going on in the city. Uh, Houston, Atlanta, Chicago, Las Vegas, California, uh, Detroit, Michigan, uh, wherever. Um, even Jamaica, guys. We even we're tied in. You know, the Fisherman's Jamaica is from Jamaica, so you could see us posted up anywhere, giving you this Boss Talk 101 info. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Um, make sure you. Uh, let us know if it's anything that you want to see us, uh, uh, some topics you want to see us cover on Boss Talk 101. Let us know in the comments, on the recap. The recap is coming every week. Talk to us, guys. Um, we love you guys, man. We thank you guys for tuning in to Boss Talk 101. It's a unique hustle. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.